The COVID pandemic continues to take a bite out of the budget at the main Department of Transportation. It depends on taxes paid at the gas pump for a big chunk of the money used to repair our roads. So as New Center Maine's Don Kerrigan reports, the DOT will again be asking the legislature and Maine people for help. Even in winter, the projects keep going, like the new drawbridge to Barters Island in Booth Bay. And many more projects are needed, but they all cost big money, and the Maine DOT doesn't have enough. Even before the pandemic hit, the DOT said that each year it was about $200 million short of what's really needed to take care of the highway system. Then came COVID. The bottoming out would have come some, our projections around mid to late April. At that point, traffic was down close to half by half. Cutting traffic in half took a big chunk out of fuel sales and therefore the gas tax, one of the two biggest sources of funding for the DOT. Things are better, but not back to normal, says Commissioner Bruce Van Note. To right now, where roughly vehicle miles traveled in the state is down between 5 and 10 percent, you know, every week compared to the same week a year prior. He says tax revenues are still expected to be tens of millions of dollars less than they were just two years ago, and the needs just keep growing. To keep up, he says the DOT will once again need to borrow through bonds. And this is, is the perfect time to rely on proven tools like prudent bonding. It is. The bondings, at, the interest rates are at historic lows. Um, you can't get a better deal on that. Last year, a $100 million bond passed by voters in July kept DOT projects on track. But half that money has already been used. So the agency is hoping this year the legislature will support a $150 million highway bond, the largest in years. The co-chair of the legislature's transportation committee says it makes sense because they can't raise taxes. Going the bond route, I mean, we go it every year anyway, uh, but I think it's, it's a good argument because of the dirt low interest rates right now. It's, it's, it's as close to free money in terms of interest that we will probably ever get. So uh, there won't be any tax increases on the highway fund, I can tell you that. In a few weeks, the Maine DOT will be announcing its new three-year work plan. That's a key for contractors and communities to know what's coming. The commissioner says they intend to keep doing as many projects as possible and hope the legislature and Maine voters will make sure the money's there. In Booth Bay, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.